Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins, Market Center Technologist. I want to talk about landing pages. Um, I have an example right here of an agent who used a link directly from the MLS, and that's great, you can do that. It's, it's a thing that is possible because they allow you to do that. You can see the arrow right there. Um, basically, it says right there that it's from the MLS or whatever. And then what happens is, is when they click on this, let me scoot over the way. When they click on this, they can, this is what they see. It's just a very plain, very boring landing page. Yeah, it's, it's kind of branded to you. You know, it's got your name down there at the bottom or whatever. Um, and then it allows people to kind of click through a little bit. It gives you, it gives their information, but it's just not pretty. It's just boring text, you know? I mean, um, it's just, it's crazy. So what I would like to do is go over creating a beautiful landing page that's interactive and it looks so nice for clients, for you to share in your social media so that clients can, you know, um, look at the pictures and, you know, they, it just, it's just a much prettier experience and people want pretty. You know what I mean? When they, when they click on a link, they don't expect to look at it. It's something that looked like it was created in the 80s. They, they want something that is clean and nice and um, you know, vibrant. So what I'm going to go over real quick is I'm going to go over landing pages and I'm going to walk you through creating a landing page with a video from YouTube and this will help you in the future when you want to use campaigns to advertise your listing um, because you'll, you'll want to have a landing page set up prior to going into campaigns and creating a Facebook campaign uh, for your for listings. So. Let's go over and uh, move over to the computer and uh, we'll talk there, okay? All right, let's get going. All right, everybody. Hello, um, we are here in command uh, and we are going to head over to our sites button. This is where we're going to create our landing pages. Now I have landing pages here, and um, this is you know, where they end up showing up after you're done, but we're gonna walk through just creating a landing page for this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the new, new site, and that's great. That is going to give us an option for a page on our agent site or as a standalone page. And this is really what we want. We want a standalone page that's just going to be a single URL that allows us to capture our lead information as well as um, show off our listings. So click standalone page. We're going to create a page. Now you're going to get a blank canvas here. And it says once you're happy with the layout, you can tailor widgets by clicking configure widgets in the sidebar. This is important. Um, I'm not sure why I don't get the little um, icons here, but that's fine. We don't really, I don't really need them. Um, first thing we're going to do is name our landing page. And I'm going to name it, um, just the example, landing. Jeez, if I can spell. Okay, so here we have our example landing page, and this is our body. So what we're going to do is, I want to start out with a branded header. Um, let me see if I can't open up an existing one that I have here. So this is an existing listing that I currently have. And this is what it's going to show up. This right here is my branded header. It um, just has my logo, you know, whatever, the information I have here. And then um, this is the listing information. So I've got the main picture. Here's all the information. Um, the basics about the house. Here's my um, my talking points about the house, about the property. And then we have a slideshow that goes around and it just keeps showing all the interiors of the picture, of the property. And then here's the more detailed features. I mean, this looks so much better than the, than the plain text that shows up from the website. Not only that, but then you also get a map. So you can really zoom in and you can figure out exactly where this property is without having to Google the, um, well, at least your client will be able to, you know, see the, see the location without having to do it. And then of course, the most important feature, it has a um, contact form where they will try and contact you. 
So what we have here, um, we are going to go ahead to it. Let's see, did I have an example? Nope, it didn't save. Okay, so we're going to create a new site, standalone page. We're going to create the page. We're going to name our page. Example landing page, there it is. Great. So we're going to start off with a branded header. We're just going to click and drag branded header, and we're going to drop it right here in the email. Do do do. See, right there. Template was created. Here's the branded header. It's got my headshot, my um, logos, all my contact information. So before we go in and configure that widget, we're going to also add our listing. So our listing is going to go underneath the, the header. And this is just a template for the listing. But you can see all of the basics are here. So that's good. And then underneath the listing, I want to put um, a YouTube video. So there we go. So now you have a headline. And then your YouTube video will go there. And then this is a description for your video. That's there. And then I want a lead form because I want to make sure that my my leads are being captured. And honestly, you could even put the lead form above the video, make the video the very last thing. Because sometimes they'll get to the video, they'll stop there and, you know. Um, so maybe you might want to move your, your lead form here so that they have to cross over it to get more information. So this is good. So this is the basic listing lead uh, landing page. So once we've, once we've done with the things that we want, um, so we're going to configure widgets here um, on the left-hand side. Here's the widgets. Here's the big configure widgets button. So we're going to use that. Um, the branded header, I already went through and did that one. So we're going to put just in time for summer. And the listing I'm going to use is going to be the same tail um, listing that I just showed a minute ago. And then I'm going to move forward here to these arrows up here to go either forward or backward from the list of um, of these guys here. So you can go there and then here. So we're going to browse the listings and we're going to search 16300 tail road. I'm just going to search tail road. There it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this one was listed previously. So we're going to use the new listing. So good. We're going to going to use a, the medium. Well, let's use the big one. That's fine. So we're going to save and apply. So this is going to apply my listing right here. Um, so we're going to see all the pictures here. And it's going to give all the information about the property. And here is all of the uh, descriptions, all of the different pictures, details and features, and then, of course, a map. That's great. So we'll save that. That's good. And then we can move forward to the, um, this is the video, this is the video headline. So the headline is going to be room for toys and more, because it's a very large property. Now, um, use a video URL. I already grabbed it from my YouTube page, so I can just uh, control V and paste it there. And it's good. This also gives you the option to upload a video, but I'm not 100% sure where that video would be stored. Um, the description, if I really wanted to, so I could get from the details here in my video, and then I can copy and paste this little guy here. Copy, and then Alt-Tab back over to the other one. And then Control V, Control V to. Oh, it looks like you only get 200 characters. Um, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. So there we go. So I'll just go ahead and leave it at that little bit right there, and that's it. So um, the next one is lead form. So really, the only thing on lead form is you get is interested. Let's talk. So we can put in here. Um, Schedule a private showing. We'll just leave that there. Save and apply. Uh, 
All right, so it used to, you could go through and save and apply once at the end, but apparently that is not the case. Um, that's kind of a bummer. Control V, master bedroom. There we go. Head back over to YouTube, copy this link, head back, paste it here, save and apply. So you have to save and apply after each time you make a change, otherwise apparently it will no longer, um, it will no longer save that for you. So here we go. So now my YouTube video is listed there and there's a little bit of a description and then I've got um, a headline here, your description down here. When I move the widget from the bottom to the middle, it looks like it may not have registered that I did that. So. We'll just go ahead. So we're gonna we're gonna publish this page. We're gonna make it live. And you hit publish page, or you can just save it. If you're not ready and you're not ready for it to go live, it you can just save landing page and it'll save everything that you've done. But I'm gonna go ahead and publish it so that it's live. So would you like to make this pu or publish this as a landing page? Just will make it visible to others. Yes, I would. My landing page was created. So now right here is a link, and. It gives you a URL here after the 427447, whatever that is. Um, it gives you um, a, a random, randomly generated URL. You can edit that. You can change the URL, everything after that slash, and you can do example landing. There we go. So I'm going to create that. So now, now I can see in the URL exactly what that was. So now if I click on it, it's going to take me to Just in Time for Summer, Teo Road, here's all the information. And this is just so much nicer, prettier. Oh, it looks like it doubled up on the video. Oh no, it didn't. Right, because there's the listing information that goes to the map. And then schedule a private showing and then room for toys and more, and then here's the video, and then it does still do this. So, um, let's see if it's editable that I can change and get that extra widget out of there. So let's scroll down here to the bottom, lead form, one of these should be the delete button. Yeah, okay, so that deleted it. So we're gonna go ahead and publish it, and then hit yes, and publishing it saves it as well. So it does both of them. So now let's close these out here, and let's click on this and see what we get. Hopefully this should have been corrected. And lead form, there it is. And then video at the bottom. So now you have this web page that you can share on all your social media and you'll be able to do anything you want with it and hand it out to people, all that thing. And uh, this is the best option. All the leads that you generate from this landing page come directly into your command and you can manage those contacts that way. I mean, it's just the best for you. Um, so please, please, please stop sharing links to all that stuff. Um, you know, uh, the MLS links, Zillow are, I mean, just the worst. Make sure that you're using your free landing pages and you have unlimited. You can create as many as you want. So the bottom line is use your landing pages to your advantage to gather your own leads, look professional out there in the marketplace. And, you know, if you mess up, just create a new one. Um, you can delete these and start over. Uh, and if you're ready to have one turn off, then you can just go boop, and it'll set the landing page to inactive. Because of right now, I don't, this listing was sold already, so I don't need to have that one even going. So use them to your advantage. These are only going to help you. Yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully this video was very helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave comments and I will definitely get back to you. Um, use these tools that you're provided uh, they're only there to help you. And um, if it takes a few minutes for you to learn it, this is just so much easier. It can be part of your workflow. Once you get a new listing, create a new landing page and then you know, share that landing page out to all of your social media accounts and 
start getting your own leads. Start, um, it's a very easy way to lead generate, and that's the name of the game here in this business, right? Lead generating. So uh, hopefully it worked out for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>